Okay. This is the uh, the first of many uh, video tutorials that I promised that I'm going to do. And what we've been doing in the uh, in the classroom, I'm going to try and do on screen here. So most of these tutorials will last for a, just a few minutes, just because of the file size. And you can do one of these a day or two or three a day, and you should be able to learn. Um, how you can then blend all of these together. So this is part one, using ActionScript to interact with movie clips. We're going to be looking at instance names and we're going to be playing around with the X property of a movie clip and the Y property of a movie clip and also the X and the Y mouse and I'll also be introducing you to the equals symbol. So these are all very very important uh, elements of code that you need to learn. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is create a a new flash file, make sure it's action script 2 and we need to create ourselves a object so I am going to go for a square with just a fill hold down the shift key to create a square I'm going to select that, go up to modify, convert to symbol you can see it says F8 there so if you're using a PC there's a keyboard shortcut I'm going to convert it to a movie clip and I'm going to make sure the registration is in the center. I'm just going to give this a name square. Once I've done that I'm going to create myself a brand new layer up here and I'm going to call this actions. I tend to separate my actions up just because it's easier to find out, find them. Uh, what we need to do now once we've created this movie clip is we also need to give it an instance name. Now this is important this is how you access this object in ActionScript. So I'm going to call this square underscore MC, MC standing for movie clip. Once I have that selected, I'm going to go to my actions layer, click on my actions button, or you can go to window actions, and we're going to create an on enter frame function. Open and close the brackets curly brackets and we're going to put the code in between here. Now you can use this for pretty much where you're constantly testing to see if anything has happened or changed whenever you enter a frame. Now this movie is going at 12 frames per second so every 12th of a second the code which is inside these curly brackets is being executed or something is being checked so you know that it's going to be fairly fast in, in updating. So it's, every time this happens on an enter frame, it checks through the code that you're going to write. So, first of all, uh, we need to call up our movie clip to say what we're actually going to mess with. So square underscore MC, and I'm going to play around with the X position. So that's its object, its position um, relative to the stage. And I'm going to do equals, which means it's like a set. So set the X position of the square MC to equal the X mouse. A semicolon at the end. Just check that. Yep, it's happy. As you can see up here, this is actions frame, so I know I've applied it to the frame. And then we can go and test that. And there we go. What we have here is a square attached to the mouse. Now you can add to that by just copy and pasting I'll copy that underneath and paste and I will change the X to a Y and the X mouse to a Y mouse again it's happy and I'll test that again and there we have an object which is locked to the mouse now you'll notice it's locked in the center position that's because when we went to create the movie clip I actually clicked on the center under position and that is the first uh, tutorial.